சுகுண கல்வி குழுமம் சார்பில் சந்திரயான் த்ரீ திட்ட இயக்குநர் வீர முத்துவேல் உடனான சந்திப்பு நிகழ்வு சுகுண அரங்கில் சனிக்கிழமை நடைபெற்றது industry what is there is no what we are doing is based on the visionary of uh, dr vikram sarabhai uh, he started with the humble beginning by carrying the rocket a small tiny rocket to bicycle to the launch pad and we started from that particular space to what we are now we are now self made our own launch vehicle with the capability of so many tons of satellite we can launch and also we have a capability to build satellites in our own indian soil and we can also launch to our own space pole as well it gives enormous applications to the common man rockets we have our own satellites we have our own space pole as well it is giving a variety of applications so if you see the the isro is being uh, department of space is reporting to the prime minister and uh, we have space commission and we have ministry of space uh, under the department of space we have many entities one is in space this in space was formed recently in 2020 that was an idea behind our government of india and the cbsc we have to nsi that antrics this a promotion of office so so new space india limited was formed and again it is to promote and to give various aspects like launch services satellite services as well as applications and many many uh, many uh, many interesting things in the side is doing and is so we have various centers again we have lead center of uh, satellite building which is ur of satellite center which is at which is located at bangalore and bssc it's uh, become sara by space center which is again a rocket center at bangalore and uh, there is a space port which we all have sdsc sharp sri gonda and uh, we have a short elevated tracking center laboratory for electro optics sat system application center for the payloads and so many centers are there and the isro is a uh, is spread up across the india almost uh, uh, south to east south to north and east to west it is spread up across everywhere in india that is prl that is physical research laboratory nirl and uh, nesc and iisp we have our own college that is space institute where we uh, we uh, students learn more about uh, the space science next slide the accomplishments so far from isro there are 94 missions launch vehicle missions were completed and 125 satellites were launched and two reentry missions and 250 more than 250 spacecraft applications Much of work that we saw so far at this accomplished, and uh, we also launched 431 foreign satellites from 34 countries. So far, it is launched, and uh, you know our work was the PSLV, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, which carried a uh, multiple foreign satellites. It's a versatile launch vehicle through which various launches had, had taken place right from 1999 onwards. Next, new orbit. As you all know, there are several orbits. You may be knowing low Earth orbit, geocentric orbit, then medium Earth orbit, then interplanetary missions. Like that, there are so many orbits. Orbit means you all know if you just put an object into the space, what will happen? If you just throw, an, if you just throw a stone, what will happen? It will come down. Why it is coming down? Because of gravity. So you throw. A stone with a such a high speed or a high velocity, then what happens? It can go around the Earth or it can escape from the Earth. Depends on the velocity in which you throw the object. Similar way, we have different orbits for different applications. Like remote sensing satellites are meant for some applications. Communication satellites are meant for some applications. And uh, science exploratory missions are meant for some applications. Like that, we have different orbits. So these orbits are achieved by injecting the satellite into a precise orbit. That's how the launch vehicle. The first step is the launch vehicle is doing the job. So PSLV has some capability, GSLV has some capability, 
LVM3 has some capability. LVM3 is an ABS one four ten satellite it can carry into GTO, that is geo synchronous transfer orbit. And PSLV is mainly meant for a lower orbit, as well it has a capability to inject into a GTO. Next slide. So coming to where I am coming from, I am coming from a center called URRC, UR of Satellite Center. He is uh, again a missionary. He, he was a founder of uh, the Satellite Center. Unsynchronous orbit. That is why the remote sensing satellites are called for. So every day, every time, the local time, that is 9.30, for example, 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m., a particular zone is actually sensed. So remote sensing is nothing but you are sensing it from the distance. You are not coming into contact. You are just, for example, if I have to give you, you just lay 10, 10 floors up and take a photo, you can cover certain areas. If you just go into an helicopter, you can cover a large area. You just take at a picture at the 500 kilometers altitude. Almost you can take the entire globe. So similarly, all our urban planning, all our infrastructure development, all is coming through the uh, remote sensing satellites. Then the third application is the space science. The space science is also very important. So all our interplanetary missions, going to the moon, going to Mars, going to Venus, going to various other planets, going out of the Milky Way galaxy, all these things are also very important. Because you know how this, is, this uh, Milky Way galaxy has come. If you want to study the Earth, you can study from moon as well. There are many, many science aspects to it. And even if you want to get some minerals from moon, if you want to get some minerals from Mars, or if you want to really see that microbial life is there or not, we do not know whether our human life is present in some other explorations, we go to another planet. And then the fourth important thing is the navigation. The navigation is also very important. See, all, all of you, almost uh, you, you can't live without GPS. Everywhere, our cars and our uh, scooters or anything, you fit with the GPS. So it is giving position and velocity accuracy. Wherever we move, we can trace. So all these things is coming from the navigation satellite. You inject it to a medium of orbit and you have a constellation of satellites so that the satellite will give position and velocity. All the six state vectors, that is x, y, z and x dot, y dot, z dot. All the six state vectors is, is forwarded by the navigation satellites. Next one. So, to meet these applications, there are various satellites. As I already told, first observation, we had three typical satellites. One is Quartasat. Quartasat, you would have heard about it, Quartasat applications. We had Quartasat 1, Quartasat 2, Quartasat 3. All these uh, three generations of satellites were launched by ISO for different applications like urban planning, as I told the applications. Ocean Sat, it's not only we study the land, we also study the oceans. See, ocean. For example, earlier, many, many uh, thousands of thousands of crews uh, were spent in identifying the potential fishing zone. For example, a person has to go and catch fish. Earlier, people will, uh, they do not know where the fish, where to catch the fish. Now, you, uh, during through this ocean satellite, you will know the potential fishing zone. You just uh, ask the fisherman to go and catch the fish in that particular zone. So that helps, the satellite helps that. In fact, thousands of crews were saved because of this ocean side satellites. Then the ResoSat. ResoSat again is a land application. So it, again, it has so many applications like uh, resource monitoring, natural resource management, and so on. And uh, as in all communication satellites, all of our classical satellites like inside satellite, you would have heard about GI and inside satellites. There are various satellites right from one day to till now. Uh, inside level and uh, so many satellites we have launched. All these things for communication applications like broadcasting, direct to go, telemedicine, tele education. Like for example, uh, one of the examples if I have to say, for example, you are in a Koyamudu, you have all the facilities like uh, uh, medical facilities are available, you have uh, renowned doctors. A village does not have that access. Now you can conduct the program through telemedicine where a person can be taught from the Coimbatore city to a remote village. Through telemedicine, this is possible. Similar way, teleeducation also. Now you have a group of institutions, similar group of institutions. Now one remote uh, village may not have an access to the actual uh, state-of-the-art facilities to uh, inculcate all our uh, educational things. So you can use teleeducation for that purpose. There are many, many programs like that. And navigation, as I told, we have a whole program. Like our GPS is there from US, 
and global assistance from Russia, we have our wear on this, which covers not globally, but it covers the entire India and beyond India. And the, the space exploration, the space exploration, see on the bottom post you can see Chandrayaan 1 was launched, it was basically an orbiting mission. Chandrayaan 2 was a, it has got three objectives, one is orbiting, landing as well as rover. You know the last part of the Chandrayaan 2, that is the landing we could not achieve safely and softly. We had a crash landing, that's why the Chandrayaan 3 is gone. And we have a Mars orbiter mission, it went to Mars, again it's an orbiting mission, not a landing mission. So we are going to have a landing mission in the next uh, in the next uh, Mars satellite. Then we have AstroSat, AstroSat for aeronomy and astronomy studies. And we also have many other things like Aratya, I have not, uh, not put here. It is actually going towards the Lagrange point. In the first week of January, we are going to we are going to inject the satellite into a Lagrange point, wherein the satellite will be constantly observing the sun and it studies the solar coronal mass ejection and so many sun temperatures studies and many studies it, it, it conducts. As well, we have Venus orbit mission. In the future, we have Mars landing mission. We have, you know, our Prime Minister has already told the human of the moon by 2040. We have to send our Indian astronaut and go to the moon and climb onto the moon. So this is the target we have now. Next. This will be having a solar panel. Another phase we will have an antenna. Another phase we will have some instrument. Like that we have six phases. All these six phases are equipped with certain instrument. Now, for us to orient towards Earth all the time, even though space, we all know that space is no disturbance at all and there is no gravitational force. But you know, due to the Sun-Earth interaction, due to the Sun-Moon interaction, due to the Moon and Earth interaction, there is some third body, third body perturbations. These perturbations will not allow the satellite to be always into the required orbit. There is a disturbance. This disturbance has to be overcome by our reaction wheels, our own thrusters, our own propulsion system. So these functions also required in the satellite. Next. That's why the reaction wheels actuators are there. And next to the reaction wheel, you are seeing one tiny thrusters. Next. And the thermal conversion, as I told you, so all the temperature expressions, you have to survive, the satellite needs to be survived. For that, we have optical solar reflector, we have multi-layer insulation, we have heat pipes. See, all the, all the time, you know, the electronic packages will generate heat. Our, our own human body generates heat. Similar way, the electronic package also generates heat. That heat has to be thrown away to the deep space, for which we have heat pipes to carry the heat from one place to another place. Next. And this is some of the mechanisms. See, in the launch vehicle, if you see, at the top of the launch vehicle, the satellite sits. But there is a limited volume available for us to launch. But in the space, we require a bigger solar panel for generating more power. So you need to scout inside the launch vehicle. After it, after it gets injected, you can deploy the panel to go near to the pole. That's why you are seeing so many landers have landed in the moon. This is a moon. You see, the, the farthest point is the Chandrayaan 3. We were the first to go there. And why we wanted to go to the South Pole, near to the South Pole? It has got a science relevance, it has got a science interest. That's why we went to the close to the South Pole. And the US started with initially Ranger and then Surveyor. Third is the Apollo mission. Apollo was a crewed mission where the astronaut went inside the crewed module. Then USSR started with the Luna program. As you all are aware that Luna 25, just before our launch, just before our landing, they had a crash landing. That was a Luna 25. They started with Luna 1 onwards. Then China has got a Changi mission. Like how we got a Chandrayaan mission, China has got a Changi mission. Changi 1 and 2 was an orbiting mission. And then Changi 3 was a landing mission. Changi 4 and 5, they have launched now Changi 6 also. Next year. Like there were many unsuccessful attempts before the successful landing. US has got the heaven, uh, three unsuccessful attempts before the first successful landing. Similar way, USSR, Russians have got 11 un unsuccessful attempts before the first successful attempt. Our Chandrayaan 2 also, we, we had a crash landing. And other recent unsuccessful missions, Beersheet, just Beersheet has aimed, they had a crash landing from Israel. 
and then Akuta, this case Akuta on mission just before our landing, it is from Japanese, they had a crash landing, Luna 25 as well. So lunar landing missions are very very complex in nature, it is higher complexity compared to any other satellite. Because you know, simply you can imagine like this, you are just going, uh, you, are, you are going with the zero velocity from sphere quota, you are escaping from the earth, escaping velocity to the moon orbit. So moon is away by 4 lakh kilometers, you go with certain velocity. And again from the moon you are killing and landing into a zero meter per second. And to a precise of wherever we want to go, we want to achieve. So that precision is required, that much of velocity we need to be. That's why that landing mission is more complex.